What's up, y'all? This is the Power of Mushroom, and you know, by the title of this video, I'm you know I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about my Evo experience, uh, what I thought, how you know, just basically how it went. And I gotta say, I'm going back next year. I already put money aside. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy my ticket wherever it's going, wherever it is. I'm I'm going to Evo next year. Yeah. So at Evo, you know, it, it was actually really exciting. You know, since this was my first Evo and all, and I, I entered some tournaments and. You know, some tournaments, you know, they, they go the way they go. I, I didn't do great, but I I did okay, kind of. You know, I I, I did what I said I was going to do, guys. I did win a, a few fights, so that that's what matters. Uh, but, you know, overall, what it, what really mattered was, like, how much fun I had at EVO. Uh, even though, like, I didn't have anyone that, I, that really went with me. I had, like, one person, one friend that actually got a ticket to go. Um, but he only went for one day. The other two days, I was kind of by myself. But let me tell you, Evo was still awesome. I would still go by myself because uh, th that was probably one of the best gaming experiences I have ever had. You know, just going to Evo and having fun. There were a lot of things there, guys. Uh, one thing, we had Soul Calibur 6 was there. We had Smash Brothers. Uh, you know, just there, there was a lot of stuff. We had the new SNK Heroines there. Um, and there's a lot of stuff. They had like some art galleries and crap. It, it was really cool. You know, to kind of go there and just kind of see like all this stuff that was like, just like, I didn't even know like how big uh, Evo was. You know, I had heard about it, but I just never thought like, dang, that that's a huge convention. Uh, it, it's really awesome. Not only that, we got some sneak peek previews before anyone else. Uh, you know, on the new Smash Brothers, uh, the Soul Calibur 6. We got, we had seen a couple of trailers. I had tweeted them out on the third day uh, when we'd gotten the trailer for, uh, you know, the new Tekken characters. Uh, they also announced a few other updates that are coming out for Tekken. Uh, also, we had Smash Brothers, Nintendo Direct happening on the 8th. There, there's a lot of stuff that they announced at EVO and it was really amazing. Uh, one of the things I really want to talk about though is the, the FGC, the um, just the tournaments in general and how I thought they were, you know. Because this was the first tournament uh, that I had entered, like, you know, big tournament. I'm not talking about small tournaments. This is like the big tournament. This is a tournament where like people are, they're training every day or, you know, they're coming here to fight uh, on Tekken, Street Fighter, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Fighters. It, it was wow like i did not expect that yeah the way these tournaments are set up you have a bunch of different pools and you go into these pools and you kind of you know you there, there's a lot of stuff they have so many tvs so many people join uh th there had to have been well over like two thousand people entered in the tournaments um it, it was it was awesome like wow i i never like i said i've never seen a tournament that big you know like i guess in person never what's really cool guys is that you know like yeah, these tournaments going on over here, the main tournaments, and they also had the side tournaments for some games that were not even, they, they weren't even on EVO, but like people created their own tournaments online, and they, when you got to EVO, you could sign up for them. They had smaller side tournaments, like they had the Virtual Fighter 5 tournament, they had uh, um, Street Fighter, Third Strike tournaments, they had freaking Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournaments, they had a lot of side tournaments that people were hosting on the side in the bring your own console. The way these bring your own console areas would work is that you bring your own uh, console and you kind of, you bring it, you play it there and you can get people to come and join you. I did that, I brought my PlayStation 4 on the second day. Um, I brought, uh, you know, the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. Uh, I brought some Dragon Ball Fighters, some Tekken. And yeah, there a whole people gathered around and they were just watching watching us play and like we'd, we'd rotate and everything it was freaking awesome it was like one of those things that i haven't seen people do that stuff in a long time like it, i've never i haven't seen that in forever it, it just kind of it was like a real nostalgic trip to see people rotate controllers or like get up and play the winner like it, it was one of those things that it just it felt good i was just like oh man you know like th this is really awesome at evo i got to actually meet some of my favorite youtubers one that actually helped me a lot at learning tech and you know, the basics and like just how to fix things, like how to play the game. Like there's a whole new game. Like once you dig under the surface, you kind of like, before I would kind of think fighting games, you know, you're thinking like, oh, well, uh, maybe there's like, you know, you just press buttons at the right time or something. And yeah, you know, that's part of it. But then there's frame data and that. This guy, like his name is Aries. Uh, his channel is called Avoiding the Puddle. Yeah, I got to meet him. He was really cool. Um, he actually, he signed my fight stick. I got to meet uh, like everyone from, you know, video games. Uh, Maximilian, uh, Woolsey, like all those people, and they, they all signed my fight stick, it was pretty awesome. I actually had some conversations with a lot of them too. 
uh, area specifically, you know, he was a really cool dude. Like he straight up just asked me like, yo, what up, you know, what you doing and all this stuff and how the tournaments were going. And at that time I was still in the tournament, so I was pretty excited, you know, and yeah, dude, it was real cool to have conversations with these YouTubers. And some of them we met, like just, uh, me and my friend, we met them like just walking around and it was just kind of like, no, the regular people just having a conversation with regular other people, but it's not like people would go, it didn't look like people went up to him and like just freaked out about him, but it was just kind of like, you know, that they had regular conversations with us. I would think that, you know, maybe they're busy or something. Nah, these YouTubers straight up sat around, had conversations. We enjoyed talking about the video games, uh, about the channels and all that. It, it was really cool. It was actually, if anything, I think that this convention kind of like put me in the mind like, yo, I got to start uploading more. Like it, right now, my creative juices are flowing through my brain. I'm just freaking excited to get started uh, on doing a lot of this stuff. A lot of the YouTubers, they gave me tips on how to, you know, manage my YouTube channel and stuff, which, which was really cool. I freaking enjoyed that. And definitely, hopefully, this works out a lot better than it's ever had before. But by far, guys, other than the gaming stuff, like the, you know, Soul Calibur 6, uh, which I will talk about in a future video that I'm, I've already actually done edited already. I've already done edited the Super Smash Brothers video, too. Um, I, I just, anything that was bet like, the thing that was better about this, like, that I just blew me away was the fighting, the, the tournaments. Now, in the tournaments, we actually had, you know, the Dragon Ball fight. I saw a bunch of tournaments. I saw, I think I saw them all. I saw the Guilty Gear. I saw the Blaze Blue. I saw the Super Smash Bros. Melee, the Wii U, the, Bra or not Brawl, the Dragon Ball Fighters, Tekken 7, Street Fighter, all of it. And I guess coming from the perspective of me now knowing about frame data and, like, kind of understanding how these fighting games work a lot more... Uh, in my mind, I'm thinking it's kind of like if you're watching football, but you don't know how football works You're, you're not gonna find the enjoyment of the game. You're gonna be like, oh, yeah, you know, he made it This guy made a touchdown, you know, team made it you're excited a little bit or you are excited that your team made the touchdown But when you kind of get into it and you have those people that are kind of studying the football game You know, they they know how like the passes work, you know, the tight ends the positions the wide receivers uh, the plays and when the, these people pull off these plays in your mind that you're thinking like, oh, they should probably pull off the play and they do it in your mind. You're kind of like, oh, like it blows you away because you kind of got involved with it. But then like the entire crowd gets involved with it because everyone there knows what they're looking at. And I guess going into Evo, knowing what I'm supposed to be seeing, what I'm supposed to be looking for when they're playing and all that. Uh, it was really cool. One of the cooler fights, I'm going to say that it just blew me away at EVO. Um, I'll, like, it was my favorite fight. It was on the third day. It was the finals in top eight. And we had uh, this Tekken fighter. He was the only U.S. fighter like in Tekken, uh, along with all the, you know, like everyone else. He was the only U.S. fighter. And, you know, his name was, uh, his name was Little Majin. And he was going against, JD, against uh, JDCR. And it was kind of one of those things that, like, he, you could tell he was a little nervous. I, I think he was nervous. I mean, I would be too, but, uh, you know, he goes on stage, he's fighting, uh, and he loses the first round. Like, he straight up, he gets obliterated. But, come the second round, it was one of those things that, like, he was playing as King. Dude, when he, when his King body slammed someone, and we knew what we were seeing, uh, and everything, it, it was just kind of one of those things that when people would call out the moves, we know it. Uh, it was like watching a wrestling match, and everyone in the crowd would just they got up and cheered when he won that first round against uh jdcr well i i'm pretty sure it was jdcr uh i'm not sure actually now i have to think about it um but anyways that that first match that he won when he won that second round with like two perfects uh in, in tekken it, it just blew the crowd away and it was kind of like dude like it was awesome it was one of those things that you know what it, it legit made me think like all right i gotta practice tekken for next year because this year i only got like two months of practice or three months of practice in because like of me being serious for two months and i'm thinking like you know what if i practice this game for another year or so and i go to more tournaments uh i want to get not i'm not saying top eight but i'm saying at least like semi-finals finals uh you know type stuff i want to i'm gonna make it there um because it, that that looked really awesome and i don't know why but seeing other people play the game and knowing like how big it is and just uh kind of like it's kind of one of those things that opened the door and it's just like no nah, i can't get enough now like I, I have to go to more so actually in two weeks i am going to another tournament uh here in las vegas it's gonna be at shine con so i'm gonna definitely be practicing with that but yeah seeing all that stuff seeing the great uh, like all these tournaments the, the these fighters return even some old street fighter uh champions that i recognize 
um, from watching so many Street Fighter, uh, you know, pro tours and everything. But there was a, I, there was this one guy I don't, I don't remember, but he's been he's an old Street Fighter two player. Um, he was there. Um, even the Tekken Seven player, or not Tekken Seven, the Tek Tekken Seven producer or director, he was there. He he was playing in Tekken. He was just walking around playing Tekken matches, and it's just like, wow, like that that was really cool. Um, and like I said, yeah, the side tournaments, the Street Fighter Third Strike uh, tournaments were really cool. I loved watching those. I joined in on those. I won a couple of matches. Uh, then just got my butt kicked by someone who played as Hugo. Um, but I have I have like small recordings of those and. You know what? Evo was probably one of the best experiences I have ever had. I can't really say much. Like, I mean, I can, but like, all the words are just flowing through my mind, saying, thinking like of how awesome it was and how amazing uh, it would be to just go again. So yeah, definitely something I'm gonna go next year, like hands down. I'm gonna see if I can get a couple of my friends to go uh, because it's definitely, I think it would be better with a lot more friends uh, who are into that stuff. But yeah, that that was kind of my te uh, my first Evo experience. Every I loved everything about it. There's not a single thing I hated. They even gave you a free cup of noodles that I didn't uh, I didn't eat actually. It's still over there. Uh, maybe one day I'll eat it or I'll just save it. But you know, anyways, that was my Evo ex or Evo experience, guys. Uh, definitely something that I'm gonna be practicing. You know, to kind of better myself at going into the fighting games and all that. I'm sticking with Tekken. That that's straight up. I'm gonna stick with Tekken. Uh, that's that's gonna be my fighting game but let me you know what let me know guys did you guys go to evo did you guys enjoy evo or have you gone to an evo or do you plan on going on evo uh, if you're asking me i definitely think that i think every single gamer needs to go to an evo <laughs> at least once like i think that's how good it was just how amazing that convention was it was just like <laughs> you'll love it guys but anyways that's it for me guys remember to like comment share subscribe and don't upvote because VidMe does not exist. And as always, when you guys are gaming, power up.